Hey everyone, today we're going to be running the game Genshin Impact on the Apple Silicon Mac using yet another anime game launcher. And this is an alternative method to sideloading the mobile application through something like PlayCover. The big difference with this method is that we are using the full Windows application and this gives us access to better keyboard and mouse support. We have access to way higher graphics settings like true 4K and high textures and all of the high bells and whistles. And this method has come a long way. Now, it actually broke for several months due to a bug with Rosetta caused by an update in Genshin Impact, but it's been fixed in macOS version 14.4. So in order to make use of this particular tutorial, you're gonna to need to update your macOS to version 14.4, which is the latest at the time of recording. So the way this method works is that YAAGL is basically a custom Wine DXVK wrapper for the game. And it it uses DXVK, it uses Molten VK, and it uses Wine in order to get the Windows version of this game working on the Apple Silicon Mac. But another quirk is that it's actually more stable if we use Crossover's version of Wine too. So I'll be showing you how to install the trial version of Crossover. You don't necessarily have to pay for a subscription. All you need to do is to have the trial installed, and then we can get Genshin Impact working as smoothly as possible on the Apple Silicon Mac. If you have any technical issues, I do recommend going to the YAAGL Discord, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Make sure to check out the GitHub page as well for the FAQ. And once you have Mac OS 14.4 installed, we're ready to move on to the first step. So this is me editing in the future. One thing before we go on is that it's actually very challenging for this particular version of yet another anime game launcher to actually work on a system which only has eight gigabytes of RAM. So if you're using like a base MacBook Air or MacBook Pro and you only have eight gigabytes, then you're gonna have trouble launching this game. And if you only have eight gigabytes of RAM and a limited amount of storage space, then you might wanna consider using PlayCover instead and siloing the mobile version of Genshin Impact onto the Apple Silicon Mac. If you wanna find out how to do this then make sure to click the link for my play cover tutorial but now what we're going to do is show you how to run the windows full version of Genshin Impact on the Apple Silicon Mac. So the very first thing that we need to do is to go to the Apple logo and click about this Mac and we need to check that we are using the correct version of macOS. So macOS Sonoma 14.4 is the very minimum we want to be using. If you're using a previous version then it won't be compatible with the current version of Genshin Impact because of that Rosetta 2 bug which was only resolved in 14.4. So make sure that you go into your settings if you go to general and then go to software update and then make sure that you're updated to at least 14.4 or later in order to make this work so next what we're going to do is we're going to go to the three shane yet another anime game launcher github page which i'll leave a link to in the description and basically under the releases section here i'm going to go ahead and download release 0.1.8 which is the latest at the time of recording so basically there are two versions of this game so one is the chinese version of the game and then the other one is the os or the overseas version so basically, if you're playing on the Chinese servers, then you want this version here. If you're playing on the international servers, if you're using the English version, for example, then you want this one, yaaglos.app. So click on this to download the launcher here. So click allow and then let that download. And then what we're going to do is go to Finder and then we're going to go to our download section here. I'm going to double click on yaagl.tar and then we're going to move this into the applications folder and then let go. And then within applications, I'm going to scroll down until we find YAGLOS. So double click on this. And if it says that it can't be updated, then just hold down the control key and then click on the app and then click open and it'll bypass that message. So click open here. And now yet another anime game launcher has started downloading the basic launcher files. So now we're going to type in our password, press OK, and now it's configuring environment. So once that's done, I'm going to press restart the program. So now that this launch has come up again, we're going to press install game, and then we're going to choose where the install directory is. So just so that you're aware, you're going to need quite a lot of storage space in order to install this game. So the FAQ warns us that the game itself is about 90 gigabytes in size. So the Windows Genshin Impact Launcher actually downloads several chunks and you actually need about double the amount of space. According to the Discord, to be safe, you need about 210 gigabytes of storage space free or in whatever drive you choose to use. This is only temporary because when the game actually unpacks, it's only going to be 90 gigabytes. So when it comes to storage, on your Mac, you need to make sure that you have enough space free. So we ideally we would have 200 and 10 gigabytes of space free, which I understand is not going to be possible for a lot of people. So what I would suggest doing is choosing an install location with more storage space, for example, an external solid state drive formatted in APFS. So for example, here I've got my Anchor solid state drive. I'll leave a link in the description about how I actually created this solid state drive. This is a custom NVMe USB-C drive. So basically, if you have a small solid state drive Mac, for example, 256 gigabyte, then you're going to need something like this. What I'm going to do is to 
plug this into my MacBook Pro. I'm going to connect this up and then you can see that I've got a drive here. So I'm going to go to disk utility. What I want to do is to take my external drive. I'm just going to erase this. I'm going to call it YAGL. And as long as it's formatted as APFS, this is going to work for us. So we're going to try this out today. Just uh, go ahead and delete this. So once that's done here, I'm going to press done. And basically we can go ahead and install this game and choose the location correctly. I do have enough internal storage space, but I just want to demonstrate how to do this on an external drive. So I'm going to make a new folder here, YAGL, press create, and then press choose. And then what it's going to do is to start allocating files on disk and basically downloading the entire Windows version of the game, as well as all of the other dependencies, the wine configuration, DXVK, etc. All of that stuff is going to get downloaded. I'm just going to let that run. Once that's done, we're going to move on to the next step. So now that the download is complete, we're ready to nearly launch the game. So we have this cog icon here and uh, we can tweak a few settings here. So this is DXVK async shading. Make sure it's turned on. If you want to see the frame rate counter, there's a couple of options. You can keep the DXVK HUD on or we can enable the metal HUD. And uh, basically we have the option to run this in retina mode too, if you have a high resolution screen. However, I'm going to turn this off to save on performance. And lastly, we're going to be looking at the wine distribution. And what we might find is that using crossovers wine instead of the bundled wine might make this game actually work a lot better on your Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So we don't actually have to pay for crossover. However, what I'm going to do is to leave a link in the description for my affiliate link for crossover. If you do decide to purchase crossover, just make sure to click on the link. You can use this promo code Apple Gaming Wiki New. And if you apply this, you're going to get a 20% off discount for crossover plus. However, we are not paying for crossover today. I want to show you how to get this to work with just a free trial and we'll be able to play Genshin Impact even after that free trial has come completed. So after clicking the link, I'm going to press free trial here. And then what I'm going to do is enter my name and email address, and then I'm going to download the trial. So click download trial now. I'm going to get to the zip file and it's going to download the crossover 24 trial. So once crossover is finished downloading, if you use Safari, it'll automatically unzip or you can double click to extract it. Then I want to drag and drop this into the applications folder to install it. And when we go into applications, we're going to double click on crossover to launch it once. So once it's launched, we can press the open button here. And then here it's saying that we have a free trial. So I'm going to make use of the free trial, but this wine is actually installed on the computer. You don't actually need an active license in order for for Genshin Impact to work via yet another anime game launcher. So basically, we'll go back into YAAGL. What we need to do now is close down yet another anime game launcher. Then we'll go to Finder and then Applications. And then I'm going to reopen yet another anime game launcher here. And now when we click the cog icon and go to Wine, we're going to have the option here to use Crossover Wine instead. So select Crossover and then click here to confirm the change. However, one thing you should be aware of is that if you're using a MacBook Air with only 8 gigabytes of memory, then firstly, Genshin Impact is not going to work that well for you. And second of all, basically, when we go to Wine, you're not going to see the crossover option at all. And that's because crossover is disabled because it consumes a lot of memory. You need to have at least 16 gigabytes for this to actually show up in the first place. So select crossover and then click here to confirm the change and then press OK to restart the launcher. You just type in your password and then it's saying configuring. Here we're going to allow YAAGL to make changes. Click allow here as well. Type in your password, modify settings, quit and reopen. If it doesn't reopen again, just double click on YAAGL, type in your password again, and now it's saying configuring environment. You're going to restart again, and now that's ready to launch. If you wanted to, you could also make a change to where the folder is located. So I did install this on an external drive, but what you could do at the moment is actually move it or make a copy. I'm going to press copy here. I'm going to move it onto my internal drive. I'm going to put it in my user folder here and then move this over to here so that it's on the internal solid state drive. So you might want to do this if you have, say, 76 gigabytes of space. You didn't have the 200 gigabytes in order to install it, but you can keep the 76 gigabytes of internal storage. But now that it's installed, the files are a bit smaller, so you can put it on the internal drive, which we're going to do now. So once that external drive has installed, I'm going to eject it and we're going to relaunch YAGL and then point it to the new location where the files are. So just double click and saying here install game, but uh, I'm just going to select the folder that I put it in already, YAGL, and it's checking the integrity and we can go ahead and play once it's double checked everything. So now that the game has now relocated the files into the user folder here, it's now installed internally and we're very nearly ready to play the game. I'm also going to be pairing a DualSense controller. All we've got to do is go into settings and then Bluetooth and then make sure that your DualSense controller or any other Bluetooth controller is connected. So mine's been paired up here and it's all ready to go. So here we're going to go ahead and launch the game, downloading the last environmental files. Now the game's launching. 
So we're now going to go ahead and log into the game. So you might notice that you can't see any cursor moving when you're typing in a password, but the password is being typed in invisibly. So make sure that you know your password and then type this into this field here. So for example, I'm typing at the moment, but nothing's appearing. Just make sure to get it right the first time and then enter your Hyoverse email and password. So you might find that this doesn't render correctly. You can do this blind. So you can grab uh, what should be around here and then drag it over and then let go. If you can't quite make it, just try it a couple of times. Another thing you can try as well is if you exit the game and then you tweak the AC patch off and then on and we'll try a combination of either, this might work a little bit better. Uh, sometimes it just renders a bit better if you have the AC mode set differently, but So we've verified now, we're going to agree to all the terms and then select our server. And now we can start the game. So that's now starting. That's downloading resources, just let that complete. So now the files have all downloaded, we can click to begin and enter the game. So it says here, data error, please fully reinstall the game. Press confirm. So in this case, what we do is we basically exit the game, press OK here. And we go back into the configuration and then we go to game. And then we're going to toggle the AC patch, the anti-cheat patch, and then launch again. And we're going to go ahead and start the game again. It's saying it's checking for updates. Now it's loading up the data. And then we're going to click to begin again. And now we are actually in the game for real. So now my game is loaded up and we can finally play Genshin Impact. So one thing what we should do is probably tweak the graphics settings. So if we go to settings here and then we go to graphics, you can go ahead and tweak this. So we're running this at 4K at the moment. You might want to change this if you want to have a better frame rate. We'll put this into 4K borderless. So these things off so you can see the actual frame rate and everything's turned on. So we've got FSR2 turned on, everything's on to high, and we're running this on the M1 Max chip. So it's not running too badly. One thing I'm gonna do as well is to make sure that my controller is working. So on control type, I'm gonna change this to controller. I'm gonna switch my system controls here. So A is confirmed, just like normal Xbox games in the West. So now I'm going ahead and playing with the controller. I can move around, I can do jumps and attacks like this. And uh, that's all working correctly now. And running Genshin Impact through yet another anime game launcher is way nicer than running the mobile app sideloaded through Play Cover. And you can see there's way more detail in the world. You can put this up to high settings and it looks fantastic. So my M1 Max chip is easily hitting that 60 frames per second limit. Once you play the game for a couple of minutes, there are no stutters, no more loads, and it seems to work very nicely. <laughs> So anyway, that is how you get Genshin Impact working on the Apple Silicon Mac. If you have any technical issues, make sure to check out the GitHub FAQ, or you can ask questions on the YAAGL Discord, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.